First, give an honor and glory to God who is ahead of my life. It is only because of him that I live, move, and have my being. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is Shantara. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing. Holding on to hope and faith, you guys. I'm on my way to you know where. I hope you had a blessed and favorable Monday or just pressing through and persevering. It is now raining here at the end of July in Dallas, Texas. So it cooled it off a little bit. It cooled it off a lot of it. But um, you guys, I was talking to my daughter this weekend and I just wanted to share what I told her. Um, I was talking to my daughter this weekend. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what we we're doing, but I think we were running an errand or going to the grocery store or something like that, right? And so I was just telling her about to be careful on social media. Like I know, oh, she was driving. Oh, baby. I was just telling her to be careful about social media. You know what I'm saying? I want to share this with not just you guys, but it's for me too, because as I was saying it, it blessed me too. So you wanna be very, very careful when it comes to social media, right? Because y'all know I say, I talk, I say majority rules though. Majority rules, it's not always real. It's not always real. Social media is not always real. And it is a place where you can get caught up and feel like you're not good enough or you're less than or you're not doing enough or, you know, now they got like these um, restock videos. They got these cleaning videos, OCD. Sometimes you look at people's houses and you see how clean the houses are and it's like, oh my goodness. It doesn't even look like they have kids. It doesn't even look like kids live there. You know what I'm saying? Like how in the world and then you look at yourself and know your house might not be filthy and i'm speaking for myself i'm speaking for me my house may not be filthy but it is not speak and span clean it looks like kids live there there are toys on the floor there are unused diapers that the baby pour out pull out and put out here and there you know what i'm saying like it's lived in you know what i'm saying it's crayons and coloring books and things of that nature that you might find out the house is not squeaky clean and sometimes we can get on social media and we can see all of this stuff and we feel like we need to do more we got to do more oh look what they doing oh i don't have my stocking video the way i need to be stocked i need to do this i need to do that and i was telling diana you need to be okay and i'm saying this for us first of all comparison is the thief of joy comparison is the thief of joy is what the bible says so when we looking at other people and when we're looking at what they got and what they're doing and it makes you sometimes it automatically makes you feel like you're not doing enough you know what i'm saying you can be doing more you should be doing this this is what it's supposed to look like that is what it's supposed to look like and we unknowingly it unknowingly sowing seeds of comparison which begins to steal your joy and make you think that you should be doing something more than what you're doing if you know like i told my baby if you know you are doing your best yeah the house looks like it's lived in y'all know before y'all go to bed y'all pick up everything clean up everything diana does her best she gets no help from Teriana because of whatever her reason, mental state, whatever, 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 there is no extra help in the house. So she holds it down while I'm working through the week. You know what I'm saying? So you do the best that you can. The house ain't filthy. It's lived in. You know, when y'all go to bed, everything is picked up and it's bet ain't better not be like that when I come through the door. So we good. The enemy sows seeds of comparison. If you know that you're doing your best, if you know as a single mom, if you know, or you know what I'm saying, if you're a married single mom, you know what I'm saying, you know you're taking on majority of the load, you know that, you know, you have a child with autism, you have a child with mental disabilities, you know, you have all of this stuff going on, you're trying to find a job in between, you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that, and, you, and things are not in tip-top shape. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not speak and span. Everything is not. If you know that you're doing your best, just know 
that your best is good enough. It is good enough. And I told my baby, I said, be proud of where you're going. Be proud of where you're at. Be proud of the things that you do accomplish. Don't allow social media to fool you and make you think that you're not enough because you are good enough right where you are. I'm good enough right where I am. I do the best I can do in that chaotic mess. I do the best I can do in that household. I give it my all. It don't look tip top on the weekends when I'm off. I'll go through, I'll do all the laundry, I'll do whatever. I'll detail clean all that. But during the weekday while I'm working and dealing with the kids and cooking and all that, baby, we doing the bare minimum to make sure it's good enough, blah, blah, blah. And that is that. And I'm okay with that. And I used to think, oh, well, you know, looking at other people and girl, you ain't even got three kids or you got your husband helping you out and you know, it ain't all on you. So I can't even compare my life to yours. Baby, no, baby, no. Comparison is a thief of joy and the internet is a perfect place. Oh, we see these um, um, couples goals. Couples gonna tell her too, don't ever, ever think or or try to use the term a couple's goal oh i want this to be my goal a couple's goal a couple's goal you need to be your own goal you and whatever couple whoever you with make sure that you're your own goal set your own standards your own boundaries your own rules have your own aura of what you want your relationship to look like you don't have to you can be inspired by other people but because you never know what's going on when this camera cut off you never know what people are doing and how they are acting and how they portray themselves to be outside of this camera baby this thing can be a whole joke and a whole lie a whole joke and a whole lie so here a lot of people are mesmerized by some of these couples that glamorizes themselves on this screen for 20 minutes 30 minutes and outside of the scene y'all cheating on each other slapping each other around disrespecting each other and doing all this but yeah here you are portraying that you are a couple's goal no i told her it's okay to be inspired by other couples you know what i'm saying inspired by healthy black couples but don't ever think that this these couples should be you know what i'm saying yo end all be all this is what you want this is how it should be no you got your own dreams your own goals your own boundaries your own relationship and let that be good enough let that be good enough let that be good enough. If you are so depressed and you can't get up and you are trying to figure it out and this and that, and your house ain't clean and you know you can't do it for the first couple of days, be okay. Be okay with where you are. Be okay with the choice, with the strides that you make. Be okay with the attempts. You know you're doing your best. You know when you get up, you're gonna get the house clean. You're gonna be able to shower. You're gonna be able to do. You know this. Don't compare yourself to the internet. The internet is not real. And I'm talking about majority rules. It's Of course, there's, there's a, um, exception to every rule. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? There are some genuine people online. There are some, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. But majority rules, it's not real. It's not real. They show you what they want you to see. And, oh, you know, kitchen stocks. And, you know, everybody live this wonderful life. And, you know, you meal prep every week. And you never skip a meal prep. And you lay all your clothes out for the week for the kids. And, you know, they have dinner. Dinner's ready by the time they get home. And, you know, this is what we do. We have our schedule. It's on the refrigerator. Everything is mapped out. Everything is primed out. Everything is... Baby, majority of us is just trying to struggle and make it through. And, baby... <laughs> If we can get a schedule, cool. If we came for the week, oh well. If not, so what? Who gives a damn? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. I'm not fit to play this game. I tell my baby, do not, do not be okay with where we are and what we do. We do our best. You know we do our best up in here. We do our best. We give, that's one thing I can say. That's one thing I can say. That is one thing I can say. We give this life our very best. And it ain't supposed to look like how everybody's life's, life looks. You know, my thing is to be transparent and honest and relatable. You know what I'm saying? Not perfect and walking upright and doing... Uh, 
like a statue. We got this. I ain't gonna never be that person. I don't edit my videos. I'm not on here trying to do all this. I don't have a laptop. I do everything on my phone. This is me. This is what it is. Whom the sun says free is free. Indeed, I am free. This is who I am. I am forever learning. I am forever growing. I am forever, you know what I'm saying, gaining wisdom and knowledge. And as time goes by, I, I mature more, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I learn more. I know more. And that's what it is. And whoever don't like it, and whoever see it as a what, a threat, a whoever, a whatever, because you stuck in your ways and you feel like you can't do whatever, or you trying to keep up with the Joneses and meet up with what's on here and what's online, baby, God bless you. That ain't me. I can't even keep up with it. I can't even try. It would probably kill me if I did. Oh, TJ, Deanna, and Teriana, and all this, Dr. Supreme is trying to work it overtime, work it, doing it all by myself. I be okay be okay that's the message on today i pray to god that you learn to be okay with where you are and to be okay with the strides that you make i'm spitting when i get to spitting you know it's good and be okay with the strides that you're making be okay with how far you've come. If you know you ain't got it, you down on your luck right now, just know that trouble don't last always. It cannot rain forever and the sun will shine again. The sun will shine again. The sun will shine again. Comparison is a trick of the enemy and it will steal your joy. There are some people that I really enjoy on YouTube, but I have to stop watching because you have a beautiful home. Your home is well kept. It really don't look like kids are here, but you also have a husband who's very attentive to you and attentive to your kids. So you have the help. You have the time to do the extra cleaning. You have the time while he go and take the kids and you can do this and you can do that. Well, guess what? That's not my reality right now. And I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? And what I told Deanna, I said, you know what? Life is really, truly like a box of chocolates. <laughs> I watched Forrest Gump a couple weeks ago at work and cried like a baby. Life really is truly like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay with a me. I'm not okay with it, but hey. <laughs> Me carrying all of this by myself right now. I know eventually God is going to send someone for me that's going to help me. And I'm going to be able to do the things that I desire to do with my children and move forward and be happy and all of this. You know, when the time is right, the Lord is going to do it. And I'm okay with it, basically. Here I am. I'm just rambling on and on and on. But I'm okay. I'm okay. I had to stop following is what I was saying. I had to stop following um, certain people, you know, still subscribed or whatever, but just not because I don't want to compare myself. I don't want to feel like I'm not doing enough or I don't want to feel like, oh, my house don't look as tidy as yours and I can't do a refrigerator stock and this and that and this and that and my house ain't look. Look, baby, if we lived in, it's lived, we love, we laugh. <laughs> look. Look. You know what I'm saying? So some people's reality just isn't your reality. Like, oh, you know, another thing too is um, I would love to have my house like decorated. You know what I'm saying? It, like decorated. You know what I'm saying? Glasses and, you know, things set out. Have a table set out with a table. You know what I see? Other people, that's not my reality. I got a special needs son and I got a three-year-old, a two-year-old grandbaby. You know what I'm saying? I can't have my house, you know what I'm saying? All like that. I got Teriana her hygiene needs and the way she keep up, I just, I'm not able to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly believe that my latter days are going to be greater than my former. You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect all of this stuff to happen in my life, but damn it, I do my best. That's basically the point of the video. And I'm not going to allow nobody on this internet, no couples go, no married 30, 40, 50 years. I'm not going to allow anyone to make me feel less than yes i can be inspired all day long that's what inspired me to get my butt up watching all of these other um plus size women accomplish their goals i got tired of watching them accomplish their goals let me get up and get off the sideline and get in the game 
You know what I'm saying? I got tired of watching them succeed and congratulating everybody from the sideline. Baby, you get in there yourself. I be damned if I allow anybody on this internet to make me feel like I'm not doing enough or to make me feel like my efforts aren't good enough or that I should be doing more when I know for a fact I am doing my best. And my best is good enough. Your best is good enough. So to God be the glory on this Monday, you guys. I pray that this message blessed you in Jesus' holy mighty name. And then I wanted to say, if you do feel like you're not or you feel like you can be doing more, just take the small steps and start working to do better. Save to get the car you want. Start saving to get the house you want if you want to move. And you know what I'm saying? Start making small steps on your own accord, in your on your own way, having your own goals, dreams, and desires. You are enough right where you are. As long as we're continuing, growing, elevating, and learning, and pushing forward, gaining wisdom and knowledge and learning from our mistakes, baby, you're right where you need to be. To God be the glory. He's a Romans 8 and 28 God. All things work together for the good to those who love the Lord and who are decalled. We're still Psalm 24 for the rest of 24. And until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you.